There we go. Not bad for a light bulb that's over 100 years old. I can honestly say they don't make them like they used to. Uh, you know, this conversation seems so real to me. Uh, I feel like we're old friends, and it's uh, frankly somewhat refreshing to work with someone who's actually older than I am. Um, I don't you think it would be great if somebody would build a full-size pickup truck, SUV, or van that would drive exactly like a Chevrolet Volt? Well, that's exactly what Fiat Motors has done. This is the kind of electric vehicle that I personally would want to own. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the cleanest, most powerful electric truck in the world by Via Motors. see in this uh, holographic image behind me, and I hope you're seeing it because I'm not. Uh, the two electric motors share a common drive shaft and are connected to a gear reduction and transfer case, all electric offering four-wheel drive performance powered by advanced lithium-ion batteries, designed with up to 800 horsepower from twin 402 via dual electric motors it can deliver the torque of a monster truck with the fuel economy of a Prius. And best of all, it drives exactly like a Chevy, Chevy Volt, or make that a Chevy Volt on, on steroids. So this isn't just green, it's green and mean. Both, um, like to introduce another for this, I guess that's for finally the electric motors, right? Dave, okay. Uh, I'd like to introduce another first in the auto business, and that is, ladies and gentlemen, I present the world's first extended range luxury SUV by Via Motors. We call it the Presidential. is a full-size, full-performance, four-wheel drive electric SUV 
with up to 402 electric horsepower and faster acceleration than its gasoline counterpart. To introduce this amazing new vehicle, I would like to invite my good friend Greg Pruitt, Executive Vice President of the nation's largest utility, Pacific Gas and Electric, to talk about their partnership with VIA and their plans to roll out electric vehicles in PG&E's large fleet. There you are, Greg. Hi. Welcome. Thanks, Bob. So much. Well, let me tell you uh, what an incredible pleasure it is to be back at the North American International Auto Show. I uh, flew out here from what normally would be warm Phoenix, but believe it or not, when I left there, it was actually colder than it is here in Detroit today. So we've got a little bit of the winter weather going on. Um, I want to just take a quick moment to do something I don't get an opportunity to do very often, which is to thank Bob Lux for all that he has done to keep the innovative spirit alive in the American auto industry. It, Bob is truly a legend and well-deserved. I also like to do that because Bob gets embarrassed. It's hard to embarrass Bob, but once in a while. One year ago, I was invited by Via Motors to come here as a representative of Pacific Gas and Electric Company, which has a very large fleet of vehicles like this, approximately 3,500, to talk about how VIA is changing the way that fleets around the world and the country can be operated with their E-Rev vehicles. Let me give you one example that's real, real time that involves a real major natural disaster. You all remember that in November we had this terrible hurricane on the East Coast, Hurricane Sandy. And imagine if we had had a fleet of these E-REVs by Via Motors available to help first responders there. PG&E sent more than 600 employees to help our fellow utilities on the East Coast. And one of the things that we sent, because they were in desperate need of it, were emergency generators. If we had had these kind of vehicles, whether it's the SUV, the cargo van, the, the pickup truck, available on the East Coast to supply much needed power to first responders, and to those electric utility customers that were without service for more than three weeks in sub-zero temperatures and also during snowstorms, what a difference that could have made. I'd also like to say there is an element of economy here, and that has to do with how much fuel savings can occur for the Via Motors vehicles. We've estimated that if we were to convert all of our Via Motor, uh, excuse me, all of our fleet vehicles of a similar make and size to Via Motors vehicles, we would save $10 million annually. And lastly, if you're from California, you know we pride ourselves on being innovative and green and working with Via Motors as part of their beta and alpha test program, as well as other alternatively fueled vehicles that we have. Since 1997, we have reduced carbon emissions in the atmosphere by 25,000 metric tons. We're really excited to see Via Motors growing its family of extended range electric vehicles, and we very much look forward to working with Via Motors in the future to continue greening our fleet. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Kenneth Jack, Vice President of Fleet Operations for Verizon. Thank you, Greg. I want to thank everybody for being here and being part of the excitement of the unveiling of this product. As an Alpha uh, Vehicle Development Partner, Verizon is proud to introduce the world's first extended range cargo van by Via Motors. We think that the, uh, that the package that you see before you really plays a big role in our ability to achieve our sustainability targets. Whether it's healthcare, education, sustainability as a society, we're facing some really big problems. And at Verizon, we believe that technology and collaboration like what we did with, with VIA, have, uh, what we've done together, uh, will help us find powerful answers to the questions that matter most to our customers and our society. Verizon and VIA Motors developed this first uh, extended range service van, and by the look of this van, I can tell you that our employees are going to be really fighting over the driver's seat. This is the culmination of over a year of work between VIA Engineering, Verizon Fleet Engineering and Development. The two teams work together to integrate the VIA system into what is the bread and butter vehicle of our industry. The extended range technology is ideal for our fleet, where we travel to a few jobs a day. We typically travel 35 miles uh, a day or less, and it allows us to drive most of that time on electric power without consuming any gas. This will eliminate much of our fuel consumption while dramatically reducing our emissions. 
The exportable AC power that Greg mentioned is extremely valuable in emergencies like we just experienced, and I can tell you firsthand from the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. Over a single vehicle's lifetime, Verizon expects that it will eliminate more than 50 metric tons of carbon emissions. And this is a dramatic improvement in both operational savings and the environment and for the communities we serve. Verizon has a robust sustainability strategy that ranges from e-waste recycling to smart grid. And our goal of reducing carbon intensity by 50% over the next seven years is facilitated by the product you see here. We're confident that this partnership with VIA and these new e-revs are another smart move towards helping us meet that aggressive sustainability target. And now I'd like to introduce, uh, oh, there you are, Alan. Thank you, Ken, and uh, thank you, Greg, and thank you, Bob. I'm Alan Perriton, president of Via Modis. This is an historic moment, and we want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the press for being here with us today. Historic because we are pleased and honored that two of our large fleet customers have joined us to make these exciting announcements here today at the Detroit Auto Show. As you heard in his own words, this Mr. Edison of some hundred plus years ago envisioned exactly how much better off the world would be with electric vehicles. Several pieces of that puzzle have come together in this past century to make this dream a practical reality today. What's really exciting is the realization that given the size of their respective fleets, with over 30,000 vehicles between them, Verizon and PG&E could single-handedly kick off, kickstart the electric vehicle revolution all by themselves. Now, I congratulate Greg Pruitt and Dave Mizell from PG&E, Ken Jack, Ken McKinney from Verizon on their leadership and vision and their partnership with Via Motors. Just look at these beautiful vehicles that we have arranged here before you. What a, a four-wheel drive, full performance, presidential SUV. Who could have envisioned that just a short while ago? And that already exceeds the 2020 CAFE standards that have been set for light trucks and SUVs. And what about this magnificent X-Truck here? Now, there isn't one of you in this audience that wouldn't like to see that in your garage or driveway. Am I correct? Yes, okay. A little applause would be just fine, thank you very much. All right, it's a powerful body. It's designed by Bob Lux and his team. We still call it a concept vehicle, but we're already driving it here at this show. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, for sharing this historic day with us. We're building a bridge from the past to our electric future, inspired by visionaries such as Thomas Edison, Mr. Bob Lutz, and pioneering fleets like Verizon and PG&E. Ladies and gentlemen, the electric future is here that Mr. Edison envisioned. It has arrived, and VIA is proud to be a part of it. We also welcome you to test drive one of these exciting vehicles. They are downstairs at the test track, and the quote here is, driving is believing. Each of the speakers will be available to entertain questions from the press after I've completed a press kit as available from our assistants or go to the welcome desk here behind me. Again, thank you for being a part of the e-revolution and the start of what Mr. Edison predicted more than 100 years ago. Thank you. The Bonneville Salt Flats. This is where automotive legends are made. Barriers broken. This is where men chase down the future and prove it possible. In the future, cars and trucks will be powered by a new source of energy. They will be faster, more powerful, and more durable. Harnessing a source of energy that will never run out. In the future, Trucks will be powered by 402 electric horses. The future is here today. Introducing the world.
world's first extended range electric trucks by Via Motors. Powered by Via's 402 horsepower electric motor, just 11 inches by 11 inches, weighing only about 100 pounds, yet more durable, more horsepower per cubic inch than any other motor. Affordable, powerful, quiet, and clean. The future.